Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to make a star. It's pretty quick and easy and I'm going to show you a real simple way to do it. So first we're going to delete this default spear. We're going to add a cylinder. Now you're going to think, you know, this does not make much of a star, but you'll see in just a second. So what we're going to do is grab the second radius. We'll drop this down to zero. You know, see it makes a cone. But what's the cool thing about this particular shape is Drop this all the way down to the minimum, to the three, and you can see on the topology there that it's a three-sided pyramid, basically. And that's exactly what we want. Now we're going to click on a view, and I want to just trim the back off straight, right in line with that line right here. So we're going to validate it, hit the trim, leave off symmetry, use the rectangle, and we're going to just pull from a corner, and I'm basically just wanting to line up with that edge right there. Close enough. Okay. So we go to the gizmo. We've got a nice flat side. Next step. Come up here. Add. And you'll see you have your repeaters down here. We're going to grab the radio. Now you can see here, this is not how we want to do this. Now you can do that this way if you want. But I'm wanting to do the star upright. So we're going to drop this down. And just do a five-sided star. And you can see we have kind of a weird thing going on right here but you can see it's trying to make a star now the cool thing about the radial is that you don't have to hit your pivot to move this so if we click this to the right so we're face on you pull this down and you can see that we're now have a perfect star all right i'm going to go ahead and validate this now in this instant, most of the time I keep instances because I want something separate. In this particular thing, I want to go ahead and join everything together so it's one. So we'll hit yes. Now that we have one, you can squeeze this down a little bit and that makes it a nice clean star. Now if you want to make a back side of this like I did on the tree, you can add a mirror. And you can see here it lines up pretty clean. If that's to your liking, you can go ahead and validate it and join those again. And there you go. Now you have a perfect star. Now the last thing I did on the Christmas tree, if you want to skip to that right here is we would add a cone. Bring that down. Whoops, not that one. We'll go down to this one right here, the little pink dot in the back. Scoot that down. We're going to bring this up into the star. And you can see it's nice and centered. Right there. Looks good. So we're okay. If not, you can always move both of these to the origin if you need to. And then that will help everything. So say this wasn't completely lined up. You come up here. Move to origin. Grab this one. Move it to the origin. Go back to here. And now, now you know for sure that you're completely centered and perfectly lined up. If you need to now this one would probably have to extend out a little bit and bring it down and then the last thing I did on that tree tree star um, let's go validate that we'd add a torus and bring that down I just did that as just like a ring around the outside at the base right there and that's basically it I'm right, gonna paint this real quick so we can go up here, select all, click on this, gold star, paint. And there we go. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one. All right, thanks.